Well, hello and welcome. My name is Sheep, and you're joining me for another episode of First Impressions Friday. Well, this week I'm taking a look at Slender the Arrival. And, well, first off, I just have to say thank you for the guys at Aperture Gaming for actually giving me a copy of this game to play. That was pretty awesome. They aren't um, related in the development of the game of any way. They're just a company um, selling gaming gear for South Africans and the like. Also pretty interesting news they post every now and then. Anyway, Slender the Arrival is apparently supposed to be a sequel on the original Slender 8 Pages game. Now, I haven't really played Slender the 8 Pages. I have seen like a ton of videos on it. Um, but I have played Haunted Memories, which is a Slender based game on the Unreal Engine. So, Slender the Arrival seems to be made on the Unity Engine and I have to say so far it is one of the... Well, most impressive looking ones on the un on the Unity engine so far. The Unity engine is, is really quite strong if you know how to use it correctly. And I have to say, I'm... Was it my footsteps? That was weird. I thought I heard footsteps. And what was I saying, as I was saying, I'm really liking the, the atmospheric, the music in this game. It's quite, quite awesome. So... Apparently this game has a few different chapters, but I'm not going to cover them all, as this is only a first impressions video. So just to see how the game is and all that, and I'll probably finish it off in my own time, maybe, possibly, I'm not too sure, if I'm brave enough. Though I do still have a lot of other games to play as well, including Outlast Whistleblower DLC, which sounds, which is apparently better than the original Outlast, so that's something worth noting. You know, I have, I've got to say that this is quite nice. It's all nice and sunny. I'm in some strange area. I'm just following this path uh, as I have no real idea where I should be going. I'm thinking this is a good enough idea for me. I'm really liking the the look of the camcorder thing. Um, is there? No, no worries. Oh, look, a Land Rover. You guys heard that, right? I mean, I was standing still and there were footsteps, so something is following me in the woods. Okay, um, almost back to the Land Rover. Let's see, is it kind of, is it a Defender? It's hard to see with the, the model. Yeah, it's a Defender, the slides are typically Defender thing. Ah! I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh crap. Okay, well, enough about the Land Rover. Um, I'll, I'll ne the, the next time I'm going to look, be looking at a Land Rover Defender in the game, which would probably be some kind of off-road off game. Um, other than spin tires, because there's no Land Rover in that, only some Russian vehicles, sadly. I was hoping for a Land Rover. Hmm. Oh well. So... Where is the guy that's following me? I mean, I have the volume way up and with headphones on as always when recording. Oh, it's getting darker, isn't it? But even though, even that, I can't really hear where the sound is coming from. It keeps sounding like it's coming from one speaker or headphone, one side of the headphone, no matter what direction I look in. Oh, here's a house for sale. Apparently, um, I'm playing the role of, I think, Susan or Kate, uh, is the protagonist in this game, so that's kind of cool, even though there's no, the only way I found out about the backstory was um, reading up on the game on Wikipedia, actually. Um, I don't have a flashlight. Well, that car looks good, this house looks nice and homey. Uh, there's a swing set over there, and I'm going in. Click, left click and hold to drag doors, open doors. Left click. That's a bit clunky. Oh, so I left click it and I move the mouse around a bit. Okay, I'm gonna close the fucking door, because... Okay then, we have an artist in the house. Can I interact with anything? Uh, hey Kate, 
It's been a while since we last spoke, so I am Kate. Good, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgotten about me. I know writing a letter has, is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So, I can't remember what I was doing at the time, but all the stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Sorry about that break. I had to breathe. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? Ghost hunting, we called it. We'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations were always working in overdrive. I wish I could remind, rewind back then. Uh, I'm inside a house. Why am I hearing footsteps outside? Okay. Well, seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. Uh, some things have been scratched out and it's kind of hard to read. Sorry, ignore all of that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you lately, so I just want to check in. CR. CR? Is that a Chris? Item added to your scrap wrap. scrapbook. It can be viewed at a later time. Um, this window, is it there any anything outside? Any any jump scares I'm supposed to? Well, this house looks in a good condition. You even get a fucking TV. I'm going to buy this house right now. Thank you. I can't re... Oh, I can pick that up. I can't thank you enough for coming up all this way to help me out. It's been a very rough road trying to sell this old place. Thank you, Kate. The phone line appears to be dead. This TV appears to be toppled over, as is the light. Someone did not like the interior decorating. Ooh, shadow effects. I have the game put up on its full um, graphical settings, and it's... Well, I don't have the fastest of computers. Ooh, piano. Any other songs that you know? This sounds familiar. Well, what was that okay sorry about that uh, cigars is this phone line working it it appears to be dead okay nothing there sorry about that so the shadows as I was saying the game doesn't run all that well but I think that might be nope no nope. closing door open door close door open door no open door motherfucker well, it's pretty dark in here. I did put the... Okay, phone line appears to be dead. And there's some cereal over there. I did put the brightness um, for recording on Max. Oh, Beth. You, you seem a bit dead. Uh, as that should... Make things a bit... Ooh, a flashlight. This should help me quite a bit. Okay, this is open. I hear you, but I don't see you. It's freaking me out. Um, that door is closed. This door is closed. Um, to note, in this game, there is diff different difficulty levels. Um, Sorry if I keep rambling on about different things. I'm trying to keep focus here. Um, I also actually just saw the playable teaser for the um, apparently new Silent Hill game on the PlayStation 4. Oh, radio. Nope, don't like that. Uh, thanks for calling last night. It certainly sounds done. This is all typed. Hmm, let's send mails to that email address, shall we? It was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well too. But yeah, about what we all said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be coincidence? I have to go to my talk today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try and casually bring this up and see what he says about it. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, thank you, Chris. CR, I think you're Chris. Um, I'm just going to close this door. 
make sure everything is locked behind me. I don't like having things open. It's it's not safe. It's not the safe way to do things. The door appears to be locked, so I'm gonna probably need a key for that. Nice lock. Um, but as I was wanting to say, I don't really own the PlayStation 4, and I won't be able to afford it most probably, as it's a bit more, a bit too expensive for me. So I'll probably sadly not be able to play the. Uh, can you can you stay open? Thank you very much. The demo for oh key. Uh, click. I picked up a key. This window's closed, closed. Oh, they're closed. No, they're closed. Weird. Um, to play the game, so if you know anyone that's actually on YouTube worth watching that's going to play the game, let me know and I can actually just watch it from them. Um, seeing as I can't really afford the system to play it on. Yeah, footsteps. I, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, what just happened? Okay, there's nothing in here. Windows closed. Why do I keep trying to close windows? Any letters in Parsec Productions? Nice job. Plastic production for the people that don't know, I think, were the people that made the original Slender Man. So that's a nice touch over there. Slender the Eight Pages. Okay, good. So, here's where I'm guessing things are gonna go turn out less than stellar for me. Oh. Oh no. 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 No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I just picked up something, but... Are you okay out there, Lauren? I think. Yes, no, maybe? Ah, no. Okay, well, this game is starting to pick up on the freaky factor. I'm gonna close this door because it's not safe. Uh, is it there a place I can hide? Um, sorry, this game is just freaking me out quite a bit at the moment. I would just like to like have a place you know in this game where I can just hide you know like a locker lockers are good I've been I've been known to be a, be a great hider in lockers in um, games like Outlast and Underhell yeah hiding spots are great well I guess there's nothing for it I'll just have to oh I have a key don't I I completely forgot Okay. Well, that's that's nice. I can I can zoom in, but my key doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if I. No. What's in my scrapbook? Yes, yes, yes. No. Oh, I need to find thirty-four items. Investigate. What? Scream, current goal beyond the black gate. Okay, well, that seems like the obviously safe thing to do. Reverse outside, I'm gonna come meet you. Um, doors open. Oh, it's a jungle gym. Nice touch. I wonder if I can climb on it. Look. Oh, this is that something? Oh, oh, it's just a log. I thought there was like a really tall man standing there. Being a slender game, that's kind of what I was expecting to see. I saw it's still a bit light outside. Luckily, I have a flashlight. Kind of. Well, here we are outside where it's safe. Who in their right mind would go outside when they hear a scream? Especially when you're abandoned. 
and your goal called Kate. And that seems to be a generator over there. So I'll walk towards the generator first then. Good. Now apparently the first level of this game follows the There's light here. Cool, so I can turn off the flashlight. Um, why did... Okay, I'll keep the flashlight on. Don't you worry. Bastards. Turning off the lights as I walk past them. Oh, this one's still fine. That's good. Some construction things. Some copper cabling. Some more footsteps which I cannot trace the origins of. Ah, my tongue is messing up there a bit. Ooh, Kanan! I have to say, the people that made this game did a great job on the whole ambience thing. I'm quite impressed with this. Apparently this game is also available on the Xbox 360. So, for the console players watching this, you can also play this if you haven't yet. This game isn't new, I wrote. Um, I think it's about a year old or so now. Oh, look, another generator. Good. I'll, I'll just mosey along. Oh, there is a run mechanic. But I probably have stamina, so I'd rather not use it right now. Uh, Mr. Crow, why did you... Oh, God, that's a lot of crows. Why did my screen just... Oh, well, I'll just turn this on. This light in this direction. Okay, game, making me follow the path. Okay. <clears throat> Losing my voice there for a bit. There's a missing poster here. Charlie Matheson. Junior, if you've seen the child, please contact. Okay, well, I will do that. If, if I see him. Now those birds are still doing the freaky fly thing. Um, ever since that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds, I've always been kind of freaked out by... Um, why does it keep sounding like I'm walking towards the thing that's making the noise? I guess that's how it works in the end. Oh, another house. Well, that's good. And another generator, well hopefully it powers up the house. I have to say though, this is quite the experience so far. And I'm actually quite impressed. I think this game takes a whole different approach than the Haunted Memories game that I played. Though... Okay, there's nothing out here. I think my flashlight is slowly dying out. I'm gonna start to run. Okay, so there is some construction boxes around here. Some bricks and some cement bags. Seems to be the foundations of a place. Hopefully they are not building this on some old Indian burial grounds, as that is usually a way to ensure you're going to have a bad time. If any of you have ever watched The Poltergeist, this is pretty much, you'll know why not to do that. That's, that's a pretty much a bad idea. I have to say though, this is really impressive. Oh! Oakside Park! Are you telling me this was all just route to here can I open no I cannot but there seems to be a door that's open over here with not too much inside of it and here as well hmm hmm okay oh power boxes good why 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 is this going on? Why am I inside the table? It came for me, why don't I listen? He was right, he said this would happen. Help me. Ooh. Ok, 
Okay then, so it seems that was just the beginning. Well, okay, so that was just the beginning of the entire game. Um, I doubt that I'm going to do a full series on the game itself. I might in the future, I'm not too sure about that. But so far this has been quite impressive. I hope, well, I think I'm going to end the video right here as I think I just finished the first level. In the first chapter. No real big scares happened in that episode or while I played it. But this is very, very promising for a Slender game. A lot of work has been put into it. I think this is a lot better example of a Slender game than... Um, what the fuck just happened? Uh, hello? As I was saying anyway, before I got rudely interrupted by that... I don't know what that was. Oh, it's a sign over here. Um, is that this is a better example of a Slender game than most of the others out there. So if you're interested in playing um, Slender games in general, I highly suggest, well, actually trying this one, Slender the Arrival, as well as Haunted Memories. I think Haunted Memories is available for free um, at IndieDB. I will put a link in the description for this specific Slender game, so you can try it out. It is available on Steam. I'm not too sure about the pricing of it, but I think it's, well, unless it's really, really, really expensive, I think, man, more than $20, I think this is actually worth it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully, if nothing bad happens to me, I will see you guys again in the next one. Anyway. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.